Hi and welcome back. In the previous tutorial, we set up this project, Spring AOP, which does not do any AOP yet. Uh, it does the basic Spring framework initialization. We have initialized the uh, application context over here and we're doing a get bean. And uh, the bean that we're getting has a dependency injection that's happening here. So we have the shape service, which we are getting by uh, using the get bean. And uh, this has a couple of uh, member variables which are being injected to the service in our Spring XML. So you have the triangle and the circle being injected to shape service through AutoWire by name. So this is basic core Spring. So we'll add AOP related uh, code now. And uh, the use case that we were discussing in the earlier tutorial is that we want to have some kind of a logging uh, method to run using aspect oriented configuration. And uh, we want a method uh, that prints a simple log message to the console. And we want that method to be called when this particular method, the get name of the circle object is called. So every time a get name of circle is called, we need that method to be printed. So the first thing we need to do in order to have an aspect, which, you know, which, uh, you're going to configure the first thing we need to do is to write that aspect so i'm going to create a new class because we know that the aspect is just a class with additional annotation so i will create a new java class and i'll call this logging aspect and i'll place this inside the package aspect and I'll click finish Okay, so now inside this logging aspect, I can write as many methods as I want. Note that this is still a class. It's not an aspect yet, even though we're calling it as an aspect. Uh, I'll write the logging method here. So I'll call this a public void logging advice. And uh, I will do a print of I'll just print that the advice is run and the get method is called. So this is a method in my aspect. Now why am I calling this as advice? Advice is standard AOP terminology for this kind of a cross-cutting concern that we have uh, isolated into aspects. So an aspect can contain a number of advisors. So these advice methods can be configured to run on a particular method run. So that's the terminology that I'm using here. So this is a logging method, which is inside an aspect. And uh, this is called as an advice because this is the standard AOP name for this. So now that I have defined a method over here, now let's convert this class into an aspect. Now the way to convert a standard class into an aspect is by using an annotation at aspect. It's as simple as that. Now add aspect is, I need to import this from um, aspect J lang annotation. Now, once I do that, this class becomes an aspect and uh, the methods of this class become advice and you can apply this advice, any advice in this aspect, you can apply it to any of the other methods inside your Spring container. Now I have the logging aspect here, this is fine, but uh, I will have to apply this to a method. Now I'll have to tell Spring that this method has to run whenever this particular method has to run. So the way to do that is again through another annotation. Now I need to annotate this method and I need to tell this that this has to run when this method is called. So the way to do that is by using another annotation. There are different annotations that we can use in order to make a method as an advice. So what we are telling Spring is that this has to run on call of something else. So there are different ways in which we can do that. Uh, the example that I'm going to take is, uh, I want this method to get executed before the get 
name method executes. So the way to do that, the annotation that we need to use in order to configure a method, an advice method to run before any of our method runs is the at before annotation. So at before is a standard AOP annotation. I'll import this, this again from org.aspectj. Uh, this is a standard AOP annotation that we can use to make our advice methods run before our target methods. Now, what I need to pass as a parameter to this before annotation is the place where this, you know, this uh, method has to run. So before what? That is the parameter that we need to pass over here. So what I'm going to say is I'm going to ask this logging advice to run before the execution of a method. So before a target method runs, I want this method to get executed. So before the execution of a particular method, I want logging advice to get executed. Now before the execution of what method? So that is something that we need to specify. Now what I'll do is I'll copy this complete signature over here and I'll paste this over here. Okay, so now what this particular line says is, I want this logging advice to run before the execution of a public string get name. That's, uh, it's as simple as that. A logging advice will run before the execution of this particular method signature. So whenever the spring container sees an execution of a public string get name, it's going to execute this logging advice before it, and then it's going to proceed with the execution of this. So this is all it takes to make this logging advice run before a public string get name. So uh, it's as simple as that. Now our aspect is ready. So now we have defined a logging aspect as an aspect by using the add aspect annotation. And we have an advice method that we have configured by using the before annotation. And we have also passed a parameter which tells the Spring Container what is the method that it, this needs to run before of. So on before the execution of this method, run this logging advice. It's as simple as that. Now I will save this and we are done with the logging aspect. Now the only thing that's left to do is that we need to tell Spring that we have aspect-oriented programming in place. There is the special annotation that we have to use and uh, you probably have guessed it by now, it's AOP aspect G auto proxy. So this, you remember, is the key string that we used for searching for this particular bean tag in the earlier tutorial. So this is actually the tag that we are interested in and this is the tag for which we imported this particular uh, AOP namespace and the schema allocation. This is what tells the Spring Container that, hey, we're using aspect-oriented programming. So if you see any aspects, then make sure that these kind of uh, advice methods are executed as configured. Now, in order for Spring to see that this is an aspect, as with the uh, post processors or any other beans, we'll have to have a bean definition here. So I'll have a bean definition for our logging aspect. And the classes. I think the package is aspect, yeah. aspect. So this bean definition has to be there for all the aspects. You can either have it inside the Spring XML or you can define annotations if you want. You can have a component annotation here. So uh, Spring needs to know that this is a bean configured in the container and only then it's going to look for all the aspect tags inside the beans that are configured and then if it finds an aspect it's going to take care of configuring it so that you know, whenever uh, the target methods that you've defined here runs, these advice methods also run. So now we have completed our aspect definition. We have uh, the aspect class here, this marking it as an aspect, and then uh, the advice method telling it what to do, and this tag telling it when to do it. 
and uh, of course this parameter tells the container what is the method for which this advice has to run. Now we can run the AOP main again. Again, just to refresh, we have a shape service and then using the shape service, we're getting the circle bean and then we're doing a get name for that bean. And this get name is what we are watching out for in the aspect. So for a get name call, we want this aspect, uh, the advice of this aspect to get executed. So now let's run this and see what happens. There you go. So the circle name is getting is printed. We have a get name method that gets called and the circle name is printed. But note that before the circle name is printed, you see this advice has been executed. So this is this method, the logging advice. So even though we have not explicitly called the advice, we see that the advice is executed. And that's because this is configured as an advice using aspect oriented programming. Now, there is a catch here. So this is, this is a very simple uh, aspect that we have defined. We have a lot of ways in which we can configure it. We're going to look at that in uh, the subsequent tutorials. But I'd like to point out one catch over here. Notice this name, public string get name. We have no mention of the circle class over here. We have just mentioned that whenever a public string get name is called, run this advice. Now, the thing to point out here is that, look at the triangle class. Even this triangle class has a public string get name. So, now what happens if I call a triangle? Now, what if I do a get triangle dot get name? Now, what happens if I run this? It's calling a triangle get name, but then the advice is running even for the triangle because we have not asked this logging advice to be specific for only execution of a get name of a circle class. We have said, you know, run this before the execution of a public string get name, no matter which class it is in. So it obviously runs for triangle if you have a square shape or any other class actually, which has a public string get name, this advice is gonna run. So we're gonna look at ways in which we can configure this particular uh, string so that we can actually tell the before annotation exactly which class and which method uh, we are looking at. So we're gonna look at that in the next tutorial and of course a few other ways in which we can configure this particular advice.